Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, Ibrahim. Today is March 28th, 2024. Today is March 28th, 2024. You know, um, uh, uh, there's a lot of issues to discuss. I can guarantee you that. So sometimes it's hard for pick and choose which one. But today, let me discuss Honorable Abu Kagbo Small. Um, you know, is uh, the new leader of the opposition in Parliament on all Loda and the well, of course, the parliament is, uh, this particular point is illegitimate because the constitution of parliament not reach the requirements for all for constituted parliament. We get elections, states do not get the results of the elections. So definitely, uh, you know, uh, the parliament is illegitimate, just like how the presidency is illegitimate. Marabi seized for be president back in April of 2023, last year. Uh, at this particular point, we see him, they open down, they waka waka. And um, but we as APC members of parliament, including Honorable Abu Kagbo, remind we all how the rest they dear per mind here. But uh, these are the times where they expect them say, like, especially he as the leader of the opposition, he could take some serious, you know, press briefing for discuss the traveling of the president up and down at a time when he comes to Nida. Kush epidemic is over there, expensive items, people are dying of hunger and starvation. And the time, like, it is the leader of the opposition. You know, for take up to the podium, and the people foresee a level of seriousness. And the reason why they begin calling Honorable Abu Kagbo attention, one time, I'm calling him Honorable because you know that man I respect, otherwise, I'd cut and shot. Uh, but we go reach there to that point where I didn't watch Honorable Abu Kagbo, see how he carry himself. And then from there, we'll take it from there. But I see this interview where he do with these bloggers, them. First of all, you know, the fact that he even take the time for Dua uh, is great. You know, we want our leaders to speak, so I'm going to give him that. However, there's a few things for later. You know, uh, first of all, I think say we get for land for begin separate. We private pre premises them from we party offices them. We get party office for a reason. We get offices for a reason, especially on Rebbe Kagbo. I believe say you know we get in office in the parliament and he speak very highly of our decorate in office. Uh, we that all that they give me very much you know make a concern you know like the, the man so concerned about how they decorate the office finally don't furnish the office and all that stuff it, it just gives me pause man you know um when he talks about things like when he talk that way when he talk you know um but who cares about office being furnished and this and that and all that stuff but you know it's just it's africa it's the mindset and all of that oh uh, because they go to parliament late they don't furnish your office now and this and, you know it's, it's only emphasize the furnish but i will play small snip bit of that particular interview it's highway concerning for me where i go start with and as we go i'll go for the breakdown interview this small small piece by piece so the things on river can go see but today i'm going to focus on this highway go this buried madabi your sister in Berlin, and it's therefore justify why they go to buried it just, it just tell me say people like honorable Abu Kagbo, they read with history they all they like for play this conning politics thinking say oh well um if i do i'm this way Definitely go sound appealing or look appealing because one piece, you know, that, that, that kind of thing. I will play that sound bite there. Uh, but before I even play that sound bite there, I go go for play a small video for us of Honorable Kabu Kabu where they explain where they go lock up like any common criminal. So I want to know, like, you really want to understand how they come out before I even start for talk about the whole thing. You see, because Salo, sorry, Salo, sorry. But now we listen to this um, of Honorable Abu Kabu by himself real quick. Where we we'll do this uh, present this interview also with um, on uh, April April eighth, twenty twenty two, twenty twenty two. Now we we'll do this. So um, I'm going to people people will people. All right. When I listen to this, yeah, when I listen to this. People will be tried for that. A sitting I'm member sorry. of parliament under no circumstances should go sleep in a police station. These are things on the left. Right, right. 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 So when they push me inside the cell, I don't wear crepe, I don't wear shoes, I don't wear clothes, na empty trusses. In fact, na lace, na tie the trusses with. When I enter inside the cell, na in the head of the gentleman they say, "Bro, push so push back." We are either they call you in a member of parliament. Now who's party come on? Now who's party come on? 
na se mi na mi na mi na eh apc mi na apc na indi bobo they all come together if you say they glad eh na uma na uma na uma na uma before the member they don't give me sponge cuz that is not before the member they don't allow for one of the bobo they but you go go find a man go find a man go find a man go find a man you see and if i had been a quiet member of parliament my shadows will never have entered the prison cell yeah i go na cell because of the position and the role we get and government need people lay way outspoken for telling them to say this is not correct this is not correct this is not correct they say the other place na l they reserve and for those who maintain neutrality in moral crisis so the union is facing a moral crisis so if we no want maintain neutrality we want to speak up thank you thank you salute people that are that is honorable abu kagbo you know some people possibly listen this now you go say I can play the other sound bite of Honorable Abu Kagbo. So I didn't go do the interview that I was. We are going to talk about that. When I go, some man go say, hey, for land for forgive, right? you know, for whole thing like that, you know, for all grudge, this and that, blah, blah, blah. That's all well and good. I believe in that as well. But at the same time, so God in this day, Honorable Abu Kagbo don't need for come now, yeah. For can't tell we if they forgive how the APC in a party, you know, the old grudge, the APC in a party, you know, the revenge, we go for prepare ourselves. I go can't play that side on a but this is a man where they go lock up as a member of parliament to get immunity. Section 100, 100 of the constitution protect a seated member of parliament. Marabio, the president at that time of Sierra Leone, take this man because he knows them guys know they act by themselves. And take this man and go lock him up. To this day, there is nobody has been held accountable. Abdul Kagbo will go as prison cell, police station cell, as a common criminal. Now rope night take for time waste. This audio, I'm going to go easy on Honorable Abu Kagbo for one. But if Honorable Kagbo continue for talk their way they are moving forward, we are going to have a problem. And we're not going to see them again. We are allowing them for big fool the people of APC for another five, six years. Under no circumstances. Moving forward, Sierra Leone the change. The APC people, Sierra Leoneans, would have a mindset of say, holding their leaders accountable. So we they go after Honorable Abu Kagbo as the leader of the opposition in parliament, let the same repeat of Cherry Koko, the most useless speaker, leader of opposition would ever get. Let it repeat with Abdul Kagbo. But if Abdul Kagbo will let it repeat for itself, then no problem. We go repeat, but we go deal with them accordingly. Because we don't improve ourselves. The people of Sierra Leone over the past years don't understand the responsibilities of leaders in that country. Therefore, we know the serum we allow Una again for. Una go, Una do whatever foolishness no have to do. But you will be called out accordingly. Una not get no social media platform or activist them. We have to come and defend this nonsense. Because the people of Sierra Leone wise up and APC supporters have longer sense. And to God, it is this liberalism that this country in Sierra Leone it go down. So, Rebula Bukabo, you hear all your story. You go to parliament, you go to police station because you say, if you not ever be proactive and you don't be the talk the way you be the talk, you were active. Now make you go up in a cell. Well, you don't deserve for go in a cell. But I'm going to you know, not play the other side. And then I go do me round up analysis now. Leon Ayeri, your same honorable Abukabo will give you a testimony of how they go lock up in a prison. When I can't listen to the same honorable Abukabo now, we don't go sit down with Mada Bio recently. We don't sit down with David Schenger. Say David Schenger, a nice bobo. When I listen to this same one, because we get for a reminding guy, then yeah. You see, Abbas Bundu in book, wait, I know say I didn't read all this thing, but the past few days I, I, I get I tied up a little bit on something else that I'm working on for myself. We make a little for continue for read the book. But there's a particular page on that book, chapter one, also I start where they talk about the fact that when you take a leader, and Mr. Shek has still been explained what's happy with Albert Magai, what he didn't do. When you take the leaders, they will just come on at the bread line. That means that level of poverty. Whether we get exposure to luxurious, to ostentatiousness, to luxury items, that good life. And people like Honorable Abu Kagbo, of course, I don't go say come out of the bread line, but come from a very poor family, like most Sierra Leoneans, right? We all. Very poor family background. God don't lift up through the access to education, and then for rich this side we rich. So this is the problem. These people can be clouded with their judgment. So we own place now for make sure so we remind people like Honorable Abu Kagbo. That the sufferings and struggles of Sierra Leoneans, it's still there. But when I listen to Honorable Abu Kagbo, where he talk, matter of fact, if I play this, this sound bite of Honorable Abu Kagbo when I have this interview, let's talk about something. I begin to talk about it earlier on. I can't play this, but don't worry. Let them politicians here, yeah. Honorable Abu Kagbo, every Friday, as the leader of the opposition, 
If you go for go weekend na lungi na you and I understand you have to go home. But as the leader of the opposition, you suppose with the party secretariat get a press conference every Friday when I come and can tell me what happened for the week. Talk to the people of the APC party. When I hold that press conference day, you can invite the uh, AYV, SLBC every Friday as the leader of the opposition. Before you go home, spend one, one hour. Give me a brief of what you happened for the week. What do you do for the week? What do you do for target some of the problems that you encounter during the course of the week? Especially like now in the top of this Kush epidemic and all that stuff. Every Friday, tell me what do you do in parliament. Whose bill where you don't propose that parliament? This is what we want to see from we leaders. Again, I know say I'm saying this now, but you know, you guys get so cocky that even though we tell you guys the right things, when I feel so to give a command, no. It is a place as citizens for advice leaders they will not put in authority. Because again, sovereignty belongs to the people. The government derives its legitimacy, its authority, and its power from the people. Now we mandate you for putting you in that position where we did. So we'll tell you what we want to let you do as a, a leader. And people like us that are wise enough to understand these things, we well, can't tell you now, so we're not going to know. So let you all be your sanctity. Let you us be your sanctity. Let you us not be your political playground again. Now, then boys, they are, then guys, they are, we come out, come up line, all aside, and for come, for come interview, now you us. They could have come to free time at the party office for coming today. But you us for be your safe haven, for be a safe space for you. Not a place where you for go play politics. Yes, yeah, there are people can come visit you. Fine. It's your discretion. But I think your home should be sacred. When Saturday or Friday don't come, Saturday, you go weekend at yours, enjoy your time with your family. That is why you use your time wisely during the week. Fridays, you update the whole country as the leader of the opposition. What's in going to parliament on it for no? What's in the bill that we have proposed that parliament on it for no? <clears throat> What's in your position? What's in the bill where you have proposed? These are the things where you for come, just give you a small briefing. You take a few questions from the press and people can, even the, the social media activists. Yes, because social media is the way to go. Honorable Abkabu, I'm saying all of these things to you because I want you guys to understand what SLPP do do success, successfully over the years is having that international appeal. From when they come to power 2018 to 2023, Nobody in the APC party, except for the visit to Dr. Samura Kamara get, where he can work out, like, close to the elections and stuff like that. But when a no-no come overseas, can travel. I know someone will say, well, we're constrained by DM money for tickets, so that will give you all that handy. But it's a sacrifice you make for improved democracy. But again, when a no-no travel come overseas, for can engage any of these universities, can give a public lecture on democracy in Sierra Leone and the status of democracy in Sierra Leone, the violation of human rights, the MCC, all these things. When a no-no ever take an international trip. So the SLPP continuously, they beat on that side. They get this fake, 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 but they already come, let me for say, they get connections there. No, it's all about reaching out to people Tell them what's your vision, what's your plan. These universities, they are open for listening to professionals, them like a una. So, we're not able to get that international appeal. Today, the APC party, very weak when it comes to the international front. Very, very weak. We don't get APC get Sierra Leone. When it comes to the local politics, the APC, they control Sierra Leone. I'm not talking about the Southeast predominantly, right? But Sierra Leone as a whole. APC, when it comes to local politics, we don't win local politics done. APC party gets alone. This is why they bother people like me. We are not able to take the international front yet steady for attack. These guys come internationally, travel, give public lectures, challenge Madabio in position them, in statements them, where they can make any time where Madabio can give public lecture in America. Somebody for counter travel for can counter them, any partner in the world where you go. That is how the APC for set themselves up. But on that side of the APC party, weak on a lack that international zest, that international fazaz, on a lack of, on a not get at all on Rebola Bukago. Like a yourself as the leader of the opposition, even though right now you guys are illegitimate, but still, it's the least you can do for we. If self enable for travel go overseas, because I know you're expensive, might I be the travel on we dime, on we penny, poor people money, way for use for improve your healthcare, your education, we road and all of that. You don't get them. But maintain your superiority at the local level. Every Friday, hold a press conference, tell the people what they have been. Invite the international partners as well. As well, if they come, they come. If they don't come, they don't come. The message will still reach them. They don't say, "Oh, this leader of the opposition is a very serious man." That is all I have to say. Because the reason why they say we're not them, I don't say you can forget those guys transport. They don't kind of yours for kind of you. You don't get them transport because again, things are hard in that country. Today. We understand. We see the way they ask you the question. Them, we understand. It's Africa and a salon for we.
you know, on a softball, everything for be softball. Because they like you, they appreciate you. So all we say is, people like myself, what we deny, we will bring you, we can get conversations. But when things get tough, you back off. Because and I, I guess the Godfather and say, hey, not talk to them again anyway, anymore. And that was a disgrace on your part. As a member of parliament, for let somebody remote control you. For tell you, say, oh, my man, no worry. Maybe that's what happened. I make sure say, that you didn't get the leader of parliament why they come here. Then guy didn't left for talk to them. We, we get a lot of we brothers that will stop for talk to them. We say stop for talk to them. And I would never have a talk to those, those people. I don't like people when I get balls. I hate you. You know what I mean? So that is the problem. So that was a disgrace on your front as well. For that you stop for come talk to we because things got tough. You compromise your position. You were standing upright for the people of Sierra Leone. Now, they like it today. Look at what is happening in our country. Not for just to point the finger and play the blame game. But let me play this. Because that interview gave me a lot of pause. Everything about that interview that you said in that interview. How you talk about how they furnish your office, all that. It was, it gave me, it just, it's so materialistic. I'm like, really, this guy, it's all about the office? It's all about the office, how they furnish them? It, 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 it matters so much to you? That if in that furnishing of the office they can use them for compromise you, I mean, it, it matters so much that your office has been furnished, it was not furnished, it takes some time, but they don't furnish them? Come on! But anyways, that is not what I'm talking about today. Like I said, I got to do a whole life on that interview, at the break and piece by, by piece. But let me let play this sound bite. Let people hear this one. How you defend the fact that you go mad up your sister in Berlin. I want you to listen to this, Yusuf. All right, um, so we the wrap up the program now. We mean our Masilo Ali, we now the current safety for Council of APC Media Bloggers, Women in Diaspora. Um, this now the final question. We just want again for the honorable make a clarification to the public, um, in relation to some um, information we the go with people then they see the party take um, money for go give Julius mother view for um, cry bearing with them, and also the go with them go they. Some people when a grassroots people then frown at that way the party take that part, uh, particular decision. We just want for just from Honorable Abu Kabo, what in the good impact we make when I go na that particular bear in the on behalf of the party? Um, one thing we people then know or know now that one I not go blame with people then because most people they don't stop her. Most people they don't go through a lot. But opposition know they avoid government. Because if you the hope for take power from a sitting government, you know they take power from a sitting government we don't avoid we know they talk to. So we not the opposition. That, that's bullshit. I'm sorry, this is not fast one, but that's bull crap. You know, for now the Abu Kabo they tell with this kind of bad nonsense. Who don't even recover they talk to? Now who APC people them? ABC people they allow on a self for let on a leader of the opposition talk to on this way, like we're not a small picket, we're not waiting to happy. This man don't acknowledge the fact that people suffer. A lot of people don't suffer, and people are still suffering. Whose business will I get for go tell Madabio Osh for burying? How will they affect anything inside Sierra Leone for move the country forward? Now, so Madabio tell us, say, want to not talk, you want to not business. Why are you the first to this man? Why are you the first to this man? What did they get for do with taking power? An election, I would all turn so just know. Una, she don't tell them thief the election away. And how for go tell Marabio Osh for burying because his sister died, get anything for do with, with governance? When are the peace way they promote now? How Marabio don't try for settle the, 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 the many, many grievances for the people again in that country? Who that Marabio don't sympathize with? Who that in burying Marabio go? The other one is Kuruma, his sister will die now, my kid. Marabio don't grieve the liam. Now the government structure, he said, then go, then they go do a private place. Or the black people, what you know they forget? So what you make una 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 get a short, very very short term memory like this? What you make una get complex? So what is the level of complexity that you guys have over Marabio? When they read una history, Marabio is the same man who evolved in 1992 coup, 1996 coup. You know, and he top it up with democracy again in this time. Or the black people, President Koroma in exile right now in Nigeria. Who that do una Marabio? Now the man is why you glad if you go tell us for burying or take party money, then you can't justify until you feel so they forget. We will not accept this. The people of MPC will not accept this. And we go tell them for stand up to people like you. For all this foolishness and this 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 disrespect when I get done. But I'll continue. I'm not going to interrupt her again. I want to listen. Now listen. In the opposition, we don't make them very clear that not to eat, we eat SNPP. 
Now, because of the things the way they happen, make we as opposition they raise with voice. You see, so we people learn for no say bearing you know politics not in the past, and we as opposition not to say we hate anybody. You understand? And if we win at the next government, we at the next. You, you 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 know Abdul Kagbo. I know I, I wanted this thing go on, but I cannot. Let that cut cut us. Let us go. You say bearing politics not for Didi. Marab, you come since 2018. Kill with people in a McKinney because of generator. Foolish politics. You know, one day kill that is Southeast. They are on a corner. You know, kill the. Oh, no, Marab, what you know the talk bar? What you gonna like for take people like the people are idiot? Why don't I like for big fool with people? Why don't I fizzle with people? No get sense. Marab, you kill. But then, Baro Prison massacre. Tetis will not get the report. McKinney will not get the report today, proper report. That's why NGO we don't pull out a report. I think like concerned citizens will pull out a report. You want to look at the killer my, my 91, Tombo, eh? August 8, 9, and 10. Oh, you talk say politics, not for mix with burying. Ah, bo! Why una they deceive una self so? Because not only people of APC they deceive you. You don't shame yourself for Rebra Kabo. Una left them politics of, of, of appeasement here when they do so. There is no need for una again and repeat. There is no need for the APC for go tell Marabi Osh for burying. No need. Not on a business. Una no care day. Una for the mourn the death of Evangelist Samson and others. Marabi Osh apologize. Marabi Osh go tell Osh for Evangelist Samson in burying. Left and tear when they do so. When I left this guy, you lucky life for the person. This, as like I say, I go easy because the next one, then when you go for do again, interview like this, you talk this guy away, you know, go for easy, go for be very brash and harsh. This, I go easy, I try for remind myself, go easy, go easy, go easy. When I continue for listening to this, we are the next government in this country. And the next government will for begin the act, let them know say if APC they can rule, not so out of malice we they can rule this country. If APC you see, this is the foolishness where they always they tell we. We are the next government, the next government where they come, the next government now now we don't pass over, trap attack, now we don't pass over. So if you are the next government where they come, now if you're not for tough, we're not sweating up in a Liberia, we're not sweating up in a Senegal, we're not sweating up in across the world where democracy has to be defended. What is that is there for can't tell with people and for say you know, so, no, no, politics not forget you know, what stuff for mix so we, we are the next government to wait in. we don't care for car revenge we are tell you about revenge we say we are going to get justice for our people we are the other peace 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 without justice there is no peace in the nation so you as a leader what you for to talk about is the fact that yes when we the APC come to power we are definitely going to ensure say even though we know the revenge but people have to be held accountable for their actions we get for all people that were killed in Makeni. We get for all people that were killed in Paremba Road. My 91 Tombo. We get for make sure say we prosecute the people that were fired the Auditor General. That is the things where we want for Yeri from you. We have to Yeri them kind of a thing they ask. The government is waiting. We're serious. Now, this level of unseriousness that we don't show, hey, we make mad up your tech election and tiff around our hand. They can't tiff us on the people of Sierra Leone in hand at this particular point in time. Then, on the can't, we can't talk this kind of a way now. So, so, Uda. Uda, you know, you audience. Who are you fit for a peace? Wait, that the meet when you go meet Manabio, that the culture shock as the leader of the opposition now, we don't go strike a deal like we go for practice this politics with decency. Manabio is not decent, he's not treating certain people with decency. Why are you the kind of African do all this foolishness and this kind of nonsense talk where you talk? When I continue for listening to Honorable Abu Kago, APC the Kawu, not to say now which owns with the candy pa. If APC the Kawu, we get clean heart for this country and we won't let the country go before. So the the Kriberian also. Ah, we reach there. They can't this Kriberian. They can't justify. APC not to which one? APC get clean out. We not tell you say APC not get clean out. So we get clean out. That means say what it? You for go tell Marabios for burying. We kill with people them na Makini, Tombo, Losa every day. People are dying. Then they arrest opposition figures here and there. Harass the opposition. The mayor, Lord President Koroma, and go put them at the dock. That picture they take today. Ah, our brother can't go safe, bro. But let me listen to him. Let me continue. Now, a demonstration of the fact that APC party they come with difference, and we know they come for which on anybody. We they come for make sure say we play clean politics. Aside from 
go along with person we say yes, not go along with person without any politics. Of course, we are not saying as so APC party day. So we people learn not for vex if the party hierarchy decide for sympathize for Bay. Because we No 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 the people vex if I get something in my mind I need to pass up and down. Proper markets money say if you know get. In Piki the other. The country can't like I don't can't so. It's not for it. That money you want to take for go give mother beautiful tell us for burying. That money you want to take camera the cook at the party office every day for people and go eat cut fast stuff. And I'm like, what is that problem? Why would I go to power? Like I say, I want to go light for this. I go light. This is the first one. I go light. I go easy. Why would I go to power? When I lost touch with the people. And I'm like, you don't lost touch. You don't lost touch completely. This again is not justified under no circumstances if I go tell us for burying. But I will listen to you. Let you justify why you go tell Marabio us for burying. Marabio, the same sister we die so. Then I'll be foolish and call it When they kill people, cut people their hand. At a time where foolish and cut so much men. Then I come today. Today we will see people already pass up and down with cut hand and cut foot. Then they still day. You have no Marabio. That woman did not die. You run for good. Forget about Marabio yourself. You at cause it is where you don't cause all these years. That's that woman did not die. You fight for good. The people of Salon will forgive you for the they do so. But don't listen to these Salon people. Don't continue for listening. This is a disgrace. Because we APC party, no other party no will make we change the way we will think. No other party no will make we change the way we will do things. You understand? So basically, now because the foundation with them being APC party, not to forget enemies. Now, for ensure, say we do the things the way right at a given point. Okay, honorable Abukabo, Fambo Lena, so go. All right, guys, that is the interview. He said the APC is built on this foundation arena for peace. Well, I don't see why the new old Madabi are accountable. Because instead of them holding Madabi accountable, they say if you challenge Madabi right now, you're not peaceful. This is the ideology of the APC party. Now, Honorable Abukabo, they tell you so. This is the ideology of the SL, of the APC, including Cherry Koko, during the days of waiting a leader, as leader of the opposition of parliament. Not for all the SLPP accountable because in order to show any sign of peace in the country, the APC party is a very peaceful party. Now, I make Marabio take the election June 24, 2023. It's about the wrong this election. I take a Latin and the If not for people like, of course, the international partners, then we put their foot down and stand up. We will raise voice there so. And Dr. Samurai Kamara himself, of course, you know, we make we put foot down the like today. Flow get a trapper tight when look into these elections. Wait for make sure so we get the results. Oh, we get a rerun elections. So God and this the data there. Mara Biro still on the back order. Five years. Now for the pan. Wait you know, because people like Honorable Abdul Kagbo believe say the APC party is a peaceful party. The APC party for just tolerate all kind of lucky and foolishness. So even for raise their voice, they don't for raise their voice, because when they raise their voice, it's all like for say, ah, you know, the APC no one peace. You see that this peace, 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 peace. Who that they don't want peace? They say all people accountable. How that they not to peace? Matter of fact, I always tell her, see, without holding people accountable, there would never be peace to the nation. You go, go kill people in Makeni, take the people of Makeni, not get justice. You feel say peace, go there. Put you to talk on the blah blah blah. let this air go, let this tear. On a do so on a country day. On a left for take advantage of the people. Eh? On a left this nonsense. Now this will happen from 1967. We we'll make we consider like I did so like today. If you not tell go take yourself for Shaka Stevens and SI Chroma, Bashitani them. We we'll make people at the north and other parts of that country they realize a level of peace when they give them because they stand up for them for protect them. I swear to God a different thing. Now the same mistake former President Chroma make because of in peaceful gestures. It can extend in peaceful arm. Encourage Marabio, get to this point. Now make we go to get so. Marabio kill with people them. Marabio terrorize that nation. Marabio going down in the history books of Sierra Leone is the most terrible individual, one of the most terrible persons. Everything we're bad in that country, Marabio and Andy Param. From 1992, where they overthrow APC, at a time where they get forget elections. At a time where Momobi don't give you a multi party democracy. At a time where they're ready for return, for can pick the first democratic government. After we get a one party state. President Joseph Saidu Momo don't put everything in place. He built law school later in the day. Within a short seven years span. Build law school. Build commerce. When uh, the, the, the College of, of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences. So. President Momo, all the things in the way they do. Marabio they can and pull all the plans of the 1992 elections. Political party they all be not begin campaign. Campaign be not begin gone. Marabio can and pull them. 
Yes, yes, I know you're going to overthrow. 1996, Marabi overthrow Skasabak. He said, peace before election. The people of Salon stand up. They say, no, we want election. The peace will go talk later. Marabi go and cut cut people and turn it back. Eh, Abdullah Rukabo, we're not serving our history. Some people don't ask them guys they house planets in the level. The same Marabi come back, he can contest back election. President Kuruma encourage him. Can't give him money for go for Tibola. Encourage him our politics. All what you do because we're not serving our history. We're not serving our history. There is the same man I be back there. He can't the election today. Kill with people. Eh? Tip the elections. As we can go, you go visit in a state house. We don't care if picture come up, picture not come up, private, not private. You go visit her. Now, you don't care if we say the APC in a peaceful political party, one piece. Now, we don't know for all people accountable. For go tell us for bury when man be your sister die. The same president where they kill the people. Eh? Now, they tell the Osh. But I'm going to be careful. But I'm be careful. They can't say, I go light for this one. But if you want to interview, I go for break and dog because we don't encourage you again for big full salon people. Under no circumstances. No, no, no. We're not going to allow that foolishness again. Like I said, this interview, I they take a piece for peace. And I'm going to do a live. Because I get the responsibility for caution. You want them, you don't begin to fail. And if you fail, you don't begin so. But until the tripartite committee, they work, will they wait for the elections, results, or the rerun of the elections? So what do they expect from you, Honorable Kabgo? They tell you now. Now, for beginning to them, when I begin to educate, when I mass the the, the 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 APC and Sierra Leone as them, then get the ID card them together and get ready, stand by for the vote. Then we forget we elected president. If there's some our Kamara win, we will not say uh, now you win the elections day, June 24, 2023. Let become the president of the nation, or move the country forward. But Honorable Kabo, you don't begin fail, and uh, we're not gonna sit down with a watch you. You begin fail with Tolarita. So they begin to tell you now, like young man to another young man. As the leader of the opposition, when I a very powerful position, and we respect the office, therefore anybody will sit at the office day, because of the respect we'll get for the office, with their accord and the respect, but at the same time, we hold you accountable. And APC people, APC bloggers, we are ready, we are hold our leaders accountable, we are not here foolishness, we are not here liberalism, we are not here to say the country, like I said, I extend my hand, for any politician, no confuse you, anybody, one pound, any one pound, if you choke, as long as you def and I they listen, so we all are put to the messages there. As long as I know, say you deal with the people and you're not politicized, you're not there for one politician. When I reach out, we help I don't extend me hand to 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 a uh, 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 PC. And the first man will come out to apologize. He's a better man, a big man. I don't tell him, say let reach out to me. Anytime you reach out to me, I'm I'm open. I extend me hand to that other young man at Ghana. He said, as he said, don't take the trajectory. He don't apologize. But at least we see, say, he come out, he can't like, tell we what will be happen, everything that will be the say. But again, like I would say, let people go swear, bomb swear. When I be continue for swear, the bomb swear, anybody will not let that country or move that country forward, let the bomb swear all them. Anyhow, what will happen to them, let it happen to them. When I continue for swear, bomb swear. Because now they will believe in Africa. Hey, they walk. When I thank you, they go swear, the bomb swear. When I go every day, when I not forget. Every day, when I swear people away the point of that country today, people don't mean well for that country today. But Honorable Kagbo, you don't start for fail, and we're not going to allow you for fail. We we'll caution you now, but to God in this day, brah, we will not take it easy with you. We're not going to be soft all the way through. We don't say, you know, you, 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 you don't mix it. But what you want in that country today, and for let people like we set much, sit down, and tolerate any kind of a thing. But young man to young man, we got to move democracy forward. So yes, we want peace in that nation day, but at the same time, we're going to hold people accountable. I'm mean, like, you don't get no business. We're going to apologize to the APC people. We're not going to business for going to matter behind sister in bearing. We're not going to business for going to do that. And we don't get nothing for first stuff to do with peace. And we don't get nothing for promote peace. It has nothing to do with that. Let matter be come first and apologize to the people of Sierra Leone. The people that don't kill. The evangelist Samson's. The all the people that we don't even know about. We didn't lock up that country today because they support APC. All. Hey, boy, we're not godfather. They might want to give you opportunities. They're like today. And let's go to my. Now, in exile, so I do Now, you can sit down. They go tell us for burying. Marabi, your sister, we die. We marry to foreigners and call. We cut people and cut people and foot. Marabi, you can overthrow the government, kill with people and destroy democracy. You're glad if you go tell us for burying. What did they say about you? You're just as the same as Marabi. You're not better off. But when they look you, because they go make changes along the way and go correct your actions. But when they look you, we don't allow you again for destroy democracy. Bye bye, everybody. Yes, people, people will be tried for that. A sitting Absolutely. member of parliament, under no circumstances, should go sleep in a police station. These Absolutely. are things already exactly. left over.
Abraham, Abraham, by the way, the first point they lock up like Abu Kabu. This one already believe this one. Like the first point they ever yeah. they lock. Yeah. Yeah. Then the first yeah. MP you when know, they arrest, Ibrahim, when they go put the police cell. Exactly. Yeah. Ibrahim, 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 as if not say we come on criminals. Yes, yes. That is true. In fact, what will be happen? Yeah. In fact, what will be happen? Before I they go to the cell, I think the jailman they may not get the information. Say being a member of parliament. So when they push me inside the cell, I don't wear crepe, I don't wear shoes, I don't wear clothes, na empty trusses. In fact, na lace, na tie the trusses with. When I enter inside the cell, na in the head of the jailman, they say, bah, push so, push back. We are here, they call you a member of parliament. Now who's party come on? Now who's party come on? Now I say, me na, me na, me na, uh, APC. Me na APC. Na in the bobo, they all come together. If you swear, then they glad. Hey, now man, now man, now man. Now, man, before the member, they don't give me sponge because that is not before the member, they don't allow for one of the bobo. They, but you go, go find your man, go find your man, go find your man, go find your man. You see, and if I had been a quiet member of parliament, my shadows will never have entered the prison cell. Yeah, I go now cell because of the position and the hollow we take. And government need people lay way outspoken for telling to say this is not correct, this is not correct, this is not correct. They say the altered place na hell, they reserve them for those who maintain neutrality in moral crisis. Sarah Leon is facing a moral crisis. So if we don't want to maintain neutrality, we want to speak up.